Hi, this lecture is about Brody's abscess. The objectives of the lecture, we're going to speak about the pathology, clinical presentation, and imaging, and diagnosis of Brody's abscess in children, and then outline the, outline the treatment strategies of Brody's abscess in children. A good source for pediatric orthopedics for primary care physician is this book written by myself. This is the second edition of our first book. Let's talk about the pathology of Brody's abscess. First of all, Brody's abscess, it's a subacute osteomyelitis. So it's a form of osteomyelitis. It's not chronic, but in the same time, it's not acute. So it's a subacute, meaning that the symptoms are usually weeks or months. Uh, and it, uh, it's much more common in children. Uh, sometimes it happens in young adults, but it's a much more common in children. There is no systemic manifestation, meaning that there is no fever, uh, no malaise. Um, uh, uh, all the systemic manifestation of acute infections are missing. Infection is usually caused by staph aureus. Uh, so most of these cases are uh, caused by staph aureus. And it may mimic uh, bone tumor, especially um, osteoid osteoma or other chronic conditions. So this is the pathology of uh, Brutus abscess. Most important thing, remember, it's a subacute osteomyelitis, more common in children, no systemic manifestation, mostly by staph aureus, and may mimic some bone tumor. So the most important differential diagnosis is osteoid osteoma, as I told you before. Um, other um, important differential diagnosis is stress fracture. It can give you a picture of uh, Brody's abscess, or if there is like intracortical um, hemangioma or other rare uh, tumors. Um, however, the most important differential diagnosis is osteoid osteoma. So what is the clinical presentation? What will this child complain of? Most, pro most important thing is localized bone pain. So he will complain um, of pain in the proximal uh, uh, tibia or uh, p uh, pain in the femur. Um, as we said, there is um, usually no systemic manifestation, no fever, no malaise. Um, if these present, they are really minimal. Sometimes there is swelling and tenderness over the affected area. So localized bone pain is the most important um, manifestation. Sometimes there is swelling, especially if it's in the tibia, um, and there is no uh, systemic manifestation or very minimal systemic manifestation. Laboratory test, um, um, ESR and C-reactive protein, usually normal, sometimes a slightly elevated. Blood cultures are negative. The bone cultures, if you take a culture, it will be negative in about 25% of the cases. Most common organism will be the staph aureus. So ESR, CRP, normal, sometimes they are slightly elevated. The blood cultures are negative. If you take a bone culture, 25% uh, it will be negative, 75% it will be positive. Most common organism is the staph aureus. After we talked about the pathology clinical presentation and labs, let's talk about imaging, which include x-rays, MRI, um, sometimes also CAT scan. Uh, the uh, Brutus abscess um, is a small uh, osteolytic lesion surrounded by sclerotic border. So you see here, this is an osteolytic lesion and the borders are uh, sclerotic. You can see here in the oblique view, the uh, areas of sclerosis, sclerotic border surrounding osteolytic lesion in the middle, there is a possibly area of necrosis, um, but you can see the surrounding sclerosis is much less than that you would see in osteoid osteoma. Um, and you can see here, there is, this is a small osteolytic lesion surrounded by sclerotic border. CT and MRI can better delineate the lesion. So this is um, the same uh, uh, patient that we saw the x-ray. As you see here, um, actually this patient has what we call um, the sinus, which is uh, very rare with the uh, um, Brody's abscess, meaning that the Brody's abscess uh, surrounded, as you see here, by a sclerotic border, but at one area it actually um, uh, communicated with the uh, um, tissues um, surrounding the bone. And you can see here, this is the area of the necrosis. So this is the same patient here. This is another cut, same thing here. So it's a, a osteolytic lesion in the bone uh, surrounded by uh, a well-defined border. And as I told you, usually, as we're going to see uh, in the uh, other examples, the uh, brood is abscess and, uh, surrounded completely uh, by sclerosis. Here in this area, uh, it is actually has a sinus, be, be, uh, not external sinus, but sinus, meaning that uh, the lesion is connected with the tissues around the bone.
So the treatment in Brody's abscess is actually surgical. The most um, cases, most cases of Brody's abscess requires surgical treatment in the form of drainage and curettage. Um, they will also need antibiotic. Antibiotic alone um, is not sufficient in most cases of Brody's abscess. As we said, this is not an acute. It's a subacute and surrounded by sclerotic uh, margin. Uh, so the blood supply to this area is not um, extensive. So most of the cases will require surgical uh, treatment in the form of drain drainage and uh, keratage. So here is a patient, one uh, of mine, a 10-year-old boy presenting with knee pain and swelling. Uh, has been going on for a few weeks. Uh, if you see here closely, there is a small osteolysis surrounded by sclerosis. You can see it more obvious in the AP. Um, uh, you can see the sclerosis here um, uh, surrounding a, a small osteolytic area. Of course, that's not very obvious. Um, as I told you, in the MRI, you can see the lesion much um, uh, uh, easier. So here is this is the lesion here, um, uh, area uh, uh, of inflammation uh, surrounding central necrosis. So this is a brood this abscess um, it does not look an like an osteodosteoma uh, um, you can see here the uh, the edges are not very smooth um, uh, so this is here a brutus abscess and the treatment as i told you is a surgical debridement um, in order not to injure the growth plate we went from uh, down into a very small area of the growth plate and we created the lesion as you can see here in this slide Another similar example, one of my patients, 12 year old, um, uh, you can see here uh, this patient presented with knee pain for a few months. If you look closely here, there's like a small osteolytic area surrounded by uh, uh, sclerotic uh, uh, well localized uh, border. Uh, you can see it here. It's not very obvious, but it's definitely there is a small area of osteolysis here. So we got an MRI which show obviously the lesion. You can see the MRI in the old views here. This is a, 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 a edema surrounding a, a small area of infection here. You can see there is a very small area of central necrosis. Um, you can see the surrounding uh, border and the inflammation. You can see the edema around it. Um, this uh, definitely looks like a brutus abscess. It's not osteodostoma. Um, it's not the, a very small localized lesion with an area in the center, and it's not uh, well-rounded. This is definitely looks like a brutus abscess. Um, it is a small area of osteolysis surrounded by edema. Uh, they're surrounded by well-localized border, but the sclerosis around it is not as intense as you would see in osteodostoma. Tumor. And this patient also had the same treatment as I showed you before. We localized the lesion under the C-arm in surgery, and then we did the treatment for this patient, which is, as I said, the main treatment for Brody's abscess is surgical treatment by debridement. Very rare. It can be just treated with antibiotic. Thank you for listening, and all my videos are for educational purpose only. Please consult your doctor before any decision.